big ceramic monkey back there. And you gave it away, too, for free. Absolutely. Gave what away? The ceramic monkey. Yeah. That's right. It's going right out to Anne in Beverly Hills. I know! Everyone's doing this to me. Like, trying to start a plane to get Lindy off the ground to go to France. My first guest has won the three Grammys. She's a member of Nashville's Songwriters Hall of Fame. She is a motion picture star and her only guest ever to have a theme park named after her. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Dolly Parton. <laughs> I think we, we look good together. Well, I think we do, too. Well, you I think we look, look nice good. together? Yeah, we should. We, we should work together. We'll go yeah. out and do shows together. Here's your hat. You might even look better if oh, you put that Oh, great. A Dollywood hat. It says Dollywood. Yeah, Dolly. And it's a corduroy hat. So yeah. that'll be nice about I, August. I notice you wear them. <laughs> <laughs> I notice you wear hats on occasion. Yeah, I like it. I like Hi, it. Folks. How, How are you? Doing? I'm doing good. <laughs> Boy, you, you smell great. I do. I yeah. should. I put a quart of it on. I'm what what is it? Oh, it's a mixture of two or three things. That, things that you uh, put together yourself? Yeah, some uh, Mary Kay and some Tova and some Chloe. Uh -huh. and... Well, anyway, I'm glad you noticed Yeah, that. well, it's very nice. <laughs> uh, now, tell us about this Dollywood deal. Well, Dollywood is a theme park that I've uh, started in East Tennessee, up now, where I live. It's... As a little girl, when you were growing up, was it always a dream of yours to have your own theme park? Well, it ha actually has been. To be honest, it, it has been a dream of mine for many, many years, because I was always fascinated with the county fair when I was a kid. That was the big thing when we used to get to go to the fair. Sure. So I was always thrilled with that. And for many years, about the last 14, 15 years, I have tried to... Uh, pull it all together where I could go back home to the Smoky Mountains where I was born and raised and take something back to, to my people. And that's a great part of the country. And the folks up there are great and it's really providing a lot of good jobs for everybody. Yeah. And it's a, hopefully a good business move too. Is it right in the Smoky Mountains? It's up in, in the Great Smoky Mountain National Park. It's uh, 30 miles uh, northeast of Knoxville. Is it anywhere near Chattanooga? Oh, that's close, but it's, it's, it's more like, um, it's closer to Knoxville. Uh -huh. It's about 30 miles from there. How much it cost to get into this place? Like 50 bucks to get uh, in? T uh, no, actually it's 13 uh, 50 for grown for the whole That'll get the entire carload of kids in. That's for everything. That's all there is. It's ev everything mm -hmm. but food. Mm -hmm. And for children, 4 to 12, it's 9.95. Yeah. And, and it's and a great If thing. you want to come and spend a week there, can you do that? Yeah, they have, they have at least, uh, well, they have six, about 600 uh, motel, hotel rooms. Uh -huh. uh, in, you know, in, in, or a thousand, I should Now, say. are you ever there? Yeah, I am. In fact, I, uh, last year was our first year, uh -huh. and we open again on May the 2nd. And I was there every month, and I would just go in and get up on stage. A lot of my family were uh -huh. singing there at the park, and I would get up with my guitar and go sing. And people never knew when I was coming, so it made it, uh, you know, kind of special to them. It was special to me to be able to drop in. So I'm very active. I didn't just put my name on something and then walk away from oh, it. Oh, sure you to did. Make my name. Sure you did. I, well, I did. Yeah, I did put <laughs> my name Just one of those on. tax deals. You're never there. <laughs> But I, I'm really involved in it. I'm very how, how big is it? How many acres are we talking about here? It's sitting on 700 acres at the moment. 100 acres. 700 I mean, acres? We had a million and a half people visit the park last yeah. season. Where, where does that rank with uh, attendance at theme parks? I guess well, like actually, Disneyland would be, is that number one? That's Disneyland? the biggest one. Yeah, and and you'd we be... were, uh, I think we were third. Third, right? I know last year we were second, the fastest year. growing theme park in the United yeah. States, which was good. And it was a good year. Uh, and it was new, of course. We're hoping to keep that uh, up this year. But it's in the great, five miles from the great Smoky Mountain National Park. They're beautiful. Park. The mountains uh, are beautiful. It's great. Yeah. And it's the most visited national park. What, what is the, the elevation States? of the highest peak in the Smokies? You've asked me a question I don't really know, and I feel stupid. <laughs> I I'm really gonna, I'd say about s no more than well, 6,000. No more than 6,000 would be a high very mountain. Very tall. Clingman's Dome is the highest place there. At least I know yeah. the name of it, but I'm not sure. Yeah. But I want you to come down sometime. And, uh, we, because I know uh, you do fun stuff on your show. I watch yeah. you a lot. So. That would be a good place for you to come and act stupid. <laughs> and have fun doing it. Why do you mean it bad? That's all right. Will you I meant please, fun stuff. Please marry me. Please. Yeah. Will, you, will you consider it? Yeah, I will consider it. Think about it. Carefully. Are you married now? <laughs> yeah, I've been married for a while. You're married now, but yet you're going to consider well, marrying me. I I said I Well, uh, you don't expect to treat me that way if but we if, get married. <laughs> well, if it lasts 20 years, it might not be so bad. How long have you been married? 20 years? Mm -hmm, well, what, what's your husband do? He's selling corn dogs in the theme park, <laughs> isn't he? <laughs> 
No, he should be, but actually my husband's not involved in, in the show business in my life. He's He made his living in asphalt paving mm -hmm. early on, and he, he does mostly real estate now. He buys property and, and resells, and so that's mostly... Did he ever, and when you were first married, ever try and talk you out of show business and come no. into the asphalt paving world? <laughs> No, he never did. That's that always why we got along, I think, because yeah. we had different worlds. And he would tell me about all the driveways he'd paved, and I'd tell him about <laughs> all the songs I'd uh, been singing. So he, but it's, he's it's a happy, stuff. happy, wonderful union, isn't it? Yeah, we're good friends. Yeah. We really are. We, well, now, what does that mean? I, well, we're good friends. I, I think it's real important that you be friends with the person you're married to. I think that's why it's lasted as long as it has. Mm -hmm. And we're together enough to enjoy the quality time, and we're apart enough to keep it interesting. So you haven't seen him in a year, is what you're and, saying. And, uh, actually, I just came from there yesterday. Yeah, well, that's so I was, good. I was home for a because week. this is an impossible business in which to maintain a reasonable relationship, yeah. isn't it? It really is. It's very hard. But I think it's easier when, when you're in separate businesses. Yeah. I, I find it harder yeah, There's when no two competition, people. no conflicting yeah. uh, egos, so no he's, friction. He's proud of me, and I'm proud of him, and, and we're happy. Well, good for you. But I will consider it. Well, thank you very much. Uh, we have to uh, do a commercial here, and then we'll be right back with Dolly Parton, ladies and gentlemen. back. Uh, Dolly uh, Parton is here. I see Klingman's Dome right here on the map. Yeah, does it say how many? No, it doesn't give the elevation of it, but we could find out I'll before find the out end of the evening. I'll next time, I promise. But they're beautiful mountains. Lovely mountains. Oh, it's mountain just right. beautiful. Yeah. They have some of the most beautiful flowers and trees in the Smoky Mountains, and we're really proud of it. Dollywood is a theme park. It's, it's, it's centered in the 1800s, and it's to preserve the old Smoky Mountain heritage. Uh, was, that, was that your idea? Well, this is what I've always wanted to do. I went in business with uh, the Hurston family, which are people that have been in the amusement park business for many years, and they have they had parks in Missouri and, and East Tennessee called Silver Dollar City. Mm -hmm. So we went in together and we combined our ideas and just added more things to it. But they really know how to make the park run well, and I'm, I'm very excited. Is it, is it clean? Very clean because that's that's very important. I think that's a must. Oh, yeah. We have a lot of we have a lot of great food. We have a lot of arts and crafts, candle making, basket. Weaving, we have the blacksmith, and of course and there's, a lot, there's of a lot of other attractions around there. We have this uh, a brochure here about your uh, theme park there, Dollywood, and then here's an attraction <laughs> here located, uh, I guess, oh, in, in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. Is that near your park? Yeah, that is. It, it is in Pigeon Forge. It's this. When you're done there, you can uh, after Dollywood, <laughs> walk tall with Buford Pusser, Cargo's <laughs> Smoky Mountain Police Museum. <laughs> Now, there are a so, lot of things in and around oh, yeah. Dollywood. That's a very touristy Plan an extra day for this one. If you're... Now, I've never been in that. That's not part of Dollywood, but there are many things to see and do up there. In including, the yeah, including the 1974 Corvette that, uh, oh, well, it gets a little ugly. <laughs> oh, oh, well, it's a police museum. <laughs> it's a police museum, not a theme park. But there are many things out, outside the park. It's really a... a because the Smoky Mountains are so popular for campers, yeah. you know, there's about 1,600 campsites there in Pigeon yeah. Forge and in Sevierville, which that's my hometown. Your hometown. And then up in the park, you know, they have uh, another 1,000, you know, you mentioned you, you mentioned your hometown. You know what we got here is a copy. We've done this from time ah! to time. We had Willie Nelson's uh, high school ah! yearbook, and we have yours. You, you graduated just a, a year before I did. In 1964. Yeah, yeah. And we have you. You were a knockout in, in high school. Like, I guess we couldn't have guessed that. Well... I really wasn't a knockout, but no, well, thank let's, you we'll let the folks judge for that, <laughs> uh, judge for themselves. Here we are, 19, this is your senior class picture? Yeah. This is, there she is. <laughs> Look at that hairdo. <laughs> I, I might add, too, that, that was not a wig. No. <laughs> that was before I started wearing What's, what's the deal on this guy up here, though? I do, you ever, do you stay in touch with any of these people? Well, I do see different ones. <laughs> You'll be so happy. Yeah, that's right. He was really a nice guy. We had some great kids in school. I, I enjoy shop class. <laughs> hey, now, don't make fun of my friends here. No, I know. Because I have to live there. My high school picture is the goofiest ever, so I don't yeah, mean to I be know, casting a spurgeon. That actually happens to turn out pretty good to me, but I got some pretty stupid ones in But yeah, They actually look like a pretty nice group of kids there. And they were great. I get a chance to see all of them. It's amazing because uh, one of the kids I went to school with is the mayor now of Sevier County. Uh-huh. Uh, Gary Wade. He was a little sweetheart right. of mine. Were you active? Were you in uh, musical productions and uh, glee club and that kind of thing? No, I was I was the most popular girl in school, but for the you wrong were the reason. Most... Oh, really? I never was the cheerleader. I never really got voted for anything. I wore a lot of makeup. I wore real tight clothes, and I wore my hair all, you know, mile high. That was 
Uh, well, those don't sound like the wrong reasons, Dolly. Well, but I'm just saying, I look like, like the right reasons. I look like the real trash that a lot of the girls were. I mean, I. Oh! 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 oh, oh, oh. Well, uh, let's see if we can uh, see if we can name some uh, of that real uh, trash. Uh, you're gonna let's give me see. A bad trouble. Now, How don't about her? I'm not... Was it was it Suzette no, Redlin? No, it wasn't Suzette. All right. Well, let's see. What about Mary Helen Sims? Uh, Could it have been? Yeah. <laughs> Get over there in the O's. I'll show you. Oh, in the O's. All right. <laughs> Wait a minute. I'm My out of there. My best friend Judy. Okay. She was. Can uh, you find her in there? She's actually back here in the green room now. In fact, she was trying to call through to bid on that jewelry for me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. Well, I can't. While you're looking at them, we have uh, the mountain. Is Klingman's Dome is uh, 6,600 feet. Yeah, that's the highest peak in the oh, country. Oh, good. Yeah. Well, I can't find the trash. I guess she dropped out of school. <laughs> Four of these pictures. No, uh, yeah, we have actually, Maxine Parton Maxine and Patsy cousin, Parton. And, they're, they're cousins, and Roy friends. Parton. Yeah, that's my cousin. And you're still so in touch with There's a lot of Partons up there. They really were some great kids. But getting back to what we were talking about, I was pretty... Uh, a lot of the people thought I was a bad influence on their daughters because I told, I told jokes and I wore a lot of makeup. And uh, Actually, I was pretty good. I just had a real outgoing personality. Some, you know, like I say, some of the girls I was hanging around with were really doing it, and I was getting all the credit for it. <laughs> Could it have been Dorothy Hodge? No. No, she was, she was good. Oh, there's Martha. I tell you, I don't know how they're going to feel. They'll be proud, I think, that you singled them out, because they're great. Could be some apologies tomorrow yeah, night, Yeah, really. Too. You're not... Um... <laughs> Listen, it's always great to, to see you, and uh, you're just terrific. I'm really fond of you. Well, thank you very much. That's Thanks nice for coming thing by, Dolly. Yeah. You you're too. welcome there anytime. <laughs> we'll, we'll be right back. Yeah.